Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike. Before we begin, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the bell so you're notified when I make new videos. Thank you! So today we're going to be looking at the Pac-10 Mini antenna. This is a, well currently it's a random wire uh, antenna fed with a, a 9 to 1 un, -un. and uh, I believe it's about 40 feet of wire here. We're going to throw it up in the air. I brought the 7300 with us this time because this antenna does need a tuner. It's not a resonant antenna, although you can cut it. Uh, you can shorten it to, you know, say 33 feet or 17 feet or whatever if you want to have a 40 or 20 meter uh, end fed. I wanted to keep it uncut. Uh, so I could use multiple bands and I wanted to keep it as long as possible. So um, we're going to see what it looks like without a counterpoise. I have uh, a way to configure. So I have three wires coming out of this thing. There's, there's, little, um, there's a little connection here for you to stick a little uh, mini banana jack in to give you a counterpoise, which I, of course, used a power pole for it. So we'll take a look at that. And now uh, we're going to string it up. We're going to see if we can get on the air and activate this park. We're at Dodge State. Uh, kilo 1495 again uh, and let's see what it does. So here's just a quick uh, up close and personal. You can see there's your uh, torrid I suppose it is. Uh, your, your 9 to 1 un, -un. and uh, these are where you can put uh, your uh, your counterpoise wires in either of these. We'll see that in a bit. And uh, BNC, pretty simple. And at the other end is just this carabiner that's just stuck through these holes for strain relief. I am going to shorten this a little bit because um, I already know what it does because this is not my first time using the antenna, <laughs> but it's your first time seeing it. So uh, with me anyway, so uh, that's what it looks like up close. Okay, so we got the antenna up. Uh, the top of it is at about 43 feet. So let's just take a look at what seven megahertz looks like. <clears throat> Now this is shocking. I would have thought it would have been worse than this. So let's kind of just see. So 3.8-ish. Impedance is really low. So, I mean, the SWR looks good, but the impedance not so much. So that might be where the counterpoise wires come in. This is without the counterpoise wires. So let's go up to 20 meters. See what she looks like. Yeah, similar, a little bit better on the ohms, but still not where we need to be. So that's not too bad. So those are the primary bands that I'm worried about. Uh, but this will do, I think, probably all the way up to six. Oh, shoot, let's see. Let's just look. Yeah. So you can tune it up. I mean, I've, I've tuned this antenna up on, like, every band with an external tuner, but my goal is to use the 7300 so that's what it looks like without the counterpoise so let's put it back but let's put the counterpoise in and we'll see what it looks like and this is what I'm using for the counterpoise so this is a little micro or mini banana plug that screws in there or just plugs into that ground socket that we saw and then this is three 33 foot radials all connected to one power pole this is the same exact wire that's used to make uh, the Pac-10 Mini and the Link Dipole, and uh, probably all of Pac-10's other antennas. I got this from, I think it was the Wireman at Hamvention. So we're going to plug this in and see what it looks like. Totally lied to you. Those radials are not 33 feet. <laughs> I forgot what I cut them to. They're like 15 feet, but there's still three of them. So now those are on. So let's see what it looks like now. Huh, interesting. So our SWR went up, our impedance went up. Which one is a good thing, one's a bad thing. Huh. Well, the goal is to see if my tuner will tune it on the 7300. So without further ado, let's do that. So let's see if this will tune. That's a good sign. Yeah, we're tuned up. All right, so let's try a random frequency here. That worked too. How about 24.9? No. She don't like that. 
How about here? That's promising. Yep, so that's good. Let's try there. See that signal? Tunes that up just fine. There's our bread and butter. Ooh, really? Huh. So it likes the upper portion of 20, not the lower. Can we tune up 40? No. <laughs> not with the internal tuner. So I'm going to put the counterpoise in and see what happens. All right, so I just put the counterpoise wire in. Wish me luck. Nope. So you're still going to need an external tuner for that. Okay, so here's something interesting. I was tweaking around. I took the antenna down. I, I, I shortened it earlier. I brought it all the way back to its full length. And I took the counterpoise off. And now it will tune 20. It will still not tune well. We'll find out. Let's see. So there's the whole... It's looking like it'll tune all of... All of 20, no problem. But still won't do... Still won't do 40. Yeah, there's just nothing. Can't do 40. It's just too... It's, it's a little high. I mean, the tuner on this... I don't know why you would only put a 3 to 1 tuner in a radio, but that's what ICOM did. Um, and we're... I think we're about 5 to 1 with this antenna on 40 so that's just not gonna happen so I just wanted to show you this lest anyone think that uh, not being able to tune up on 40 is a limitation of the antenna it's really not it's a limitation of the 7300's internal tuner uh, I have a portable tuner that looks like that uh, that I picked up from a swap and I just tuned up 40 meters with that we got 1.25 of 41 ish ohms so uh, that's that's very very doable on this antenna uh, And as we all know the 7300 is not my primary portable rig So I would bring this portable tuner with me anyway, so just wanted to show you that now. Let's see if we can get on the air Kilo I got a couple stations the November 5 echo station come again November 5, Echo Alpha Lima, you are 5-9 into Kilo 1495. Roger, roger, I got you a 5-9 here in Southeast Texas. The name is Neil, November Echo Alpha Lima, roger. Kilo 7, Papa Oscar, this is your 5-8 in Oregon, Oscar Romeo. Okay, Kilo 7, Papa Oscar, Whiskey, I copy the 5-8 in Oregon. You're coming in about a 3-3-3-3 here into Michigan. Oregon and Texas, right off the bat. Well, we got four contacts on 20 meters. It's 20's not looking too good, so we're gonna try 40 again. Victor Alpha 2, Yankee Zulu X-ray, was it? Victor Alpha 2, Yankee Zulu X-ray, you're 5'5", Equinix Canada, Echo Zero, Tango Papa Echo. Kilo Echo Zero Tango Papa Echo, was it? Is it Kilo Mike 4 Whiskey India India? Roger, roger. Okay, Tim in uh, North Carolina looks like, yeah, sorry, a little bit of QSB kit, kitten, uh, killing the last three letters of your call every time, but yeah, I got you about a 5'5", 5, 5, 55 up here in Michigan. All right, copy the 5-7 in North Carolina. Thanks for the contact, and 73. 73, love the videos, keep it up. <laughs> oh, thanks, man, I'm making one right now, so you'll, you'll be YouTube famous. Whiskey Zero, Juliet, Delta. Whiskey Zero, Juliet, Delta, come again. Yeah, Whiskey, that's it, uh, you're up here, 55, Missouri. Okay, okay Roger, you're uh, about 5-7, five, uh, five, 5 eight here into Michigan. Kilo Charlie 2, Bravo Papa Papa, you are 5'8, five, 5'8 eight, five, eight into Michigan. Alright, 5'8 into Michigan, you're 5'7 um, into uh, New York, and I'm finally uh, running into you. I was just looking at 
<laughs> oh, cool, man. Well, I'm making one right now, so you'll be in it. <laughs> Right on, man. Thanks. I only need one more to get the park activated. 73. Yeah, Kilo Whiskey 4, Foxtrot Mike, 5 9 Virginia. My name is Fred. All right, Fred. Uh, copy the 5 9 into Virginia. You are 5 9 into Kilo 1495. Yeah, thanks for a new one. And uh, how, do I, how do I go about uh, finding the videos? Uh, you just go to YouTube and type in my call sign, and you'll see my ugly face right there. All right, Fred, thanks for the contact. You are my 10th. I have officially activated this park. Thank you. Kilo Delta 8, Echo Delta November. Kilo Delta 8, Echo Delta November. You got a great signal. Solid 5-9 into Michigan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are also 5-9 down in Kentucky. Good signal this afternoon. Kilo Charlie 1, Charlie Bravo, Quebec, you're 5'5", uh, 55 five, five into Michigan. QSL, QSL to 5'5", five, five. you're 10 bucks, 5'7", up and down, you're 10 bucks, 5'7", you're 10 bucks, 5'7", Massachusetts. All right, Roger, copy the 5'7", in Massachusetts, thanks for the contact, 73. Whiskey 9, Alpha Victor. Whiskey 9, Alpha Victor, you are 5'9", into Michigan. Was it Kilo 4 Juliet Alpha Zulu? So not that it's a surprise to anyone, but uh, it just goes to show you put a wire in the air and you're going to make contacts. I made uh, about I made 14 contacts in about as many minutes. Um, I just wanted to kind of get out and, and I don't have a lot of time today, but I wanted to get out and do this video because I've re I have been playing with this antenna quite a bit. <laughs> I just haven't done a video on it. I was really, uh, I was really happy to see that the radio would tune up. Uh, it tunes up pretty much everything except for 40, which is a bummer. So I might tweak it a little bit and see what happens. But I don't really bring the uh, 7300 out a lot. I do like having it. Um, so that's disappointing. But again, not a fault of the antenna. The antenna is designed to be a 9 to 1 on on with certain impedances and SWR and that kind of thing. And that's what makes it so multi-band. Um, the yeah, Ecom's only got a three to one uh, tuner in it, so that's that's a little disappointing. But like that that Zygu X5105, that would tune this thing up, and and anything that has a little bit better tuner than than what Icom put in the the 7300, uh, the MFJ portable tuner tunes it like a champ. I've tuned literally every single band from 40 to six on that uh, tuner. So uh, I've worked Spain on um, 18 megahertz, or was it France uh, on this antenna? So it gets out there. Today, we've literally traversed the country. We got all the way to Massachusetts, all the way to Oregon, Wisconsin, and Texas, and all the way down to Miami and uh, states in between. So this thing really has a good reach, um, which is really awesome. So, it, you know, having an antenna up uh, 43 feet or however tall this mast is definitely helps. Height is might, um, and it's, uh, it's working. So... I give it a thumbs up. I think it's great. I think they retail for about a hundred bucks or so, uh, similar to the uh, the Pac-10 Link dipole that we looked at uh, earlier this year. Uh, love both these antennas. The neat thing about it is I have this little pack that I'll show you. I'll put it right uh, here. So here's the bag that I use to keep everything in. It's just a Condor. Um, it's a it's like a first aid kit. I think is what it's intended for. Antenna first aid, we'll call it. So inside, I've got a couple lengths of coax. I usually have three. Um, I think the other one's in my other bag. But um, So that's like a 25-foot roll. There's a little pigtail, and I have another like 50-foot run of some really thin coax. And then we flip this guy over, and we've got both of our Pactena antennas. There's the linked dipole. That's got all of the elements on it. And then there's the Pactena Mini right there. And then this compartment is just, I just have miscellaneous stuff. Um, not everything's in here because they're connected to the feed line right now, but just different connectors and all kinds of crap that you'll need out in the field that, you know, things that you will forget. Uh, there's the counterpoise. So instead of forgetting them at home, if you just always have your antenna bag with you, 
you won't forget them. I think this thing is fantastic. Um, you know, again, get a wire up in the air, you're gonna make some contact, so very cool. All right, guys, thanks again so much for watching another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff.